Okay, what do we have here? We have a motor capacitor because this is a inductive motor. And we have a neutral wire going to the motor and the three wires for the three uh, settings here low, medium and high. Okay, so here is my modification and you don't need to be an engineer to do that. Uh, I removed the original junction box with the uh, uh, switch here and I uh, placed another junction box here on the fan housing. Uh, this is the place where the motor capacitor is and all the wires and I extended the wires to this thing here which makes it a uh, remote switch and I can make this a lead here as long as I want. And by the way this hole here which I drilled is a four millimeter hole is an oil hole for uh, better maintenance of this motor here. And I did basically the same thing on my already existing ventilation system. Here is the remote and next step is to build the frost flap and the housing. Storm is rolling in.
Okay, so before I go any further, well, let me explain what I have done so far. As you can see, I made the box for the fan or for the ventilation system. We are talking about uh, room air here. Uh, I made it out of a cheap OSB because I am a cheap Charlie and uh, some wooden strips here and even some pallet wood. Okay, um, I have two layers here inside. One uh, layer of uh, wooden strips here is to hold the motor, which I already mounted onto a piece of OSB as well. I removed the fan plates so I don't damage them. So this is the motor assembly, which will fit here and the other layer here is the seal you could say uh, of the frost flap because uh, over here in Europe and in Austria we have temperatures in the winter time uh, up to minus 25 degrees Celsius <laughs> it would be a very bad thing to have a big opening like this in your workshop so there has to be a flap to close this hole if I don't use the ventilation system that's the next step to make the uh, frost flap and some kind of mechanism to open it remotely and to have access later on once all this thing here is installed inside the ceiling I have cut open here this box on the top side and I made a service hatch you could say so, this fits in here and gets screwed down tight and if I have to do some maintenance to the motor or everything what is inside here I can do it from above here okay short story long next step is to cut the frost flap install some kind of hinges I have no idea at the moment I will figure it out as I go along so full steam ahead frost flap Okay, so uh, sorry, but it's very hard to film here inside while doing the work, but uh, as usual in the rocket science, I used just ordinary door hinges, therefore I had to shim them a bit, these green pieces of plastic here, but uh, no complaints about that, I mean, it does the job, it works. There will be uh, some kind of a rubber uh, rubber band or something to, or a spring to close it shut and a uh, wire here so that I can open it remotely like uh, I have here on this one. Okay, so that's what it looks like from the outside. So this is the, this goes to the outside of the building. Uh, there will be the fan blade, and this is more or less the inside of the building. And this is um, the edge where I will elongate it with a air duct about four meters long in this direction with three holes these ports here which you see here same thing same style okay but uh, it's evening and uh, let's clean up the mess and call it a day
is the next day and let's continue with the build. Uh, next I need to find something to close this door firmly. Some kind of spring or rubber band or whatever I can find. So let's go for a search. Okay, this seems to work, even upside down. Um, next step is to mount the kill switch. Uh, this switch is meant to kill the power to the motor when the uh, flat or this door here is closed. And I will use a simple micro switch here for the task. I'll put it somewhere here. Okay, well, let's see how it goes. And here's a slight design change which I made off camera. I changed the wood screws to um, nuts and bolts and washers. So the propeller is in place, all the wires are connected, hopefully in the right way. I am already on choose here and I am prepared for the first test run. Let's go for it. Um, setting number one.
Oh yeah, <laughs> it is very powerful, even more powerful than the already existing one here in the ceiling. Even though it is the same fan, I don't know why, but this one is definitely more powerful than the other one, uh, which is good, I like it. Next step is to make this kind of remote system here. Uh, it will be a very simple solution. Just this pulley here and a piece of steel cable. I used the same method on the old uh, uh, ventilation system here and it works ever since. So I will copy the design uh, and build the same on this one. Alright, the motor unit of the exhaust system is finished and is ready to go into the attic of the new building. And as usual, uh, I say please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, become a Patreon under patreon.com slash larifari. Uh, you can share my channel around the internet and yeah I say thanks for watching